This right here is proof that you can change your life for the better if you really wanted to. It's, it's a Saturday morning right now. And um, this is a very different reality to what my life would normally look like. Because what normally would happen is on a Friday night, I go out, I party, I speak to different girls, all that kind of stuff, live that kind of life, drink, and I spend the whole Saturday morning trying to recover. My whole Saturday is basically ruined. And now I feel ready to crush my day. I'm ready to get to work. But this, hasn't, this wasn't what my life was like before. And the only reason why I had to get that change was because I had to ask myself a very important question. And the question was, everything I'm doing right now, is this adding to my long-term goals or is this taking away from it? You have to understand that self-sabotage is a real thing. And understand that it doesn't matter how hard you work to achieve a certain goal, if you ruin things with the efforts of your hand, you are not going to go very far. When I asked myself that question, it gave me an insight on how I must start to live my life if I really wanted the success I said I wanted. I had to change who I was, how I act, and that's how I was able to do that. And a big part of this is learning to let go. Because once you understand that I have to stop doing certain things, you're going to have to let go of certain things, activities you're doing, certain people around you, maybe some of your friends. Letting go of the people around you doesn't mean that you become selfish. No, it just means that you have to start prioritizing yourself on your goals. Because the way I see it is this. Think about this. If you have a long-term goal, if you want yourself to be in a certain position, everything you do today is always going to be getting you closer to that goal or taking away from it. Something, a, a nice little trick I always play on myself is, if the future version of me was here to talk to me today, like right in front of me right now, would he be thanking me for doing everything I'm doing right now for the person that he is, is or is he going to like be mad at me because what I'm doing right now created the worst version of myself or they didn't get me to the goals I wanted. Starting to ask yourself questions like these start to give you a very different perspective of how things should go for you in the, in the present. Because understand that the past would always be in the past, whatever you did in the past, like maybe you were drinking, you're partying, all that kind of stuff, like whatever you did there really doesn't change, you can't really do anything about that. The only thing you can do is to be so focused in your present control your present because the future hasn't come yet and everything you do controls that future and most people will always want to think like ah oh, actually i have time i have time i have time no the future is a second away two minutes away it's always something that is just what isn't in the present now and everything you do right now decides if that future is a good thing or it's just going to be filled with filled with lots of pain like Putting things into perspective like this really gave me an insight that, bro, I really have to make a change in my life if I really want a success. And I urge you today to ask yourself that question. Everything you're doing, is that taken away from you or is that adding to you? Because once you do, that starts to give you the answers to all the questions that you have. Because a lot of people want to know like, okay, do I stay in this relationship with this girl? Do I focus on this thing or that thing? Just ask yourself that question and all the answers that you don't want to tell yourself start to reveal themselves to you. But if there's one piece of advice I have for you is don't force anything. When you're on your journey to make that change and stuff, what tends to happen is you might need a new friendship group now. You might need to be surrounding yourself with different people. You know, like a lot of new things will happen. And please, don't try to force anything because when you try to force something this is what tends to happen you start to act in a way that isn't really true to who you are you start to create a new personality try to create a new persona that you know isn't really true to who you are at your core and all that happens then is then you have to keep up with that personality and trying to keep something that isn't really yours Okay, act up on a person, certain persona that really isn't yours is not the best way to live your life, man, because now you're almost living a fake life that you don't want to live, but you're forced to live because you want that thing that you really want. But act, having that thing at that time means that you have to be a different person.
And the only way to fix this is just to understand that divine timing is a real thing. Listen, whatever is meant for you will never miss you. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as you can do what you can control, which is your input, you do the work, you show up every day regardless of how you feel, and you keep working hard. Because the thing about working hard is if you work hard every single day, you never miss a lucky day because you would always have a lucky day at some point. Understand that as long as you can control the things that you can, because I hate it, I hate, this is one thing I'm, I keep saying. The only thing that you can control are your inputs. And the only thing in life in general that you can control are the thoughts that you think. So you have to start thinking the good thoughts, the success and everything and all those things come to you because whatever you focus on in your mind, you start to attract. And I'll tell you why, because your thoughts control your actions and your actions control your behavior and your behavior controls your reality. If I start to think to myself that, you know what? My genetics are shit. I can't really build any muscle because I just have bad genetics. What tends to happen over time is, if it really comes down to it where I'm like, oh, do I really want to go to the gym today? I'm thinking to myself, actually, my genetics are shit anyway, so what's the point? My actions start to get controlled. And once your actions start to get controlled, it's only a matter of time. That compounds over a long period of time that creates a certain behavior. You're like, ah, you know what? The gym shit isn't, isn't even working for me. I'm just going to leave it. Boom. Once you create that behavior, that creates a reality. So if you want things to change for yourself for the better, you must start with this. Understand that your thoughts control everything, but also you must be willing to pay the ultimate price, the sacrifice. Letting go of who you are today for the version of you that is going to come. And there's no guarantee that that version of you is going to be there. But the only thing you can do is just focus on the things you can do today. As long as you can just focus on being better and doing everything that you can in this moment, that's what gives you success. And a lot of people want to like focus so much on that end goal. Listen. This is a pro tip for you guys. Like, I used to be the kind of person where, like, I had to know like the exact steps on how I was going to get to that goal. No one ever knows that. No one, because once you start to do something where you start to commit to yourself, you start to prioritize yourself. What tends to happen is you almost put in like complete darkness. Like, all you can see is just like one or two steps in front of you. You know the few steps that you can take, but a look around, they have your head up, like everything around you is just mess, it's just pure darkness. So if you if you keep running around or trying to find the quickest way or trying to see the future, you don't know for a fact what's going to happen. All you can do to create the future that you want is by taking one or two steps. And what tends to happen is you might take a few steps, head over to a fucking hill, and you're like, oh, actually, Trace your steps back and keep going. And that's how you actually make it happen. Listen, this is literally proof that you can create the life that you want. And everything starts by planting that seed. Everything in life takes time. Everything worth having in life will normally take time because you have to plant that seed, let that seed germinate, and then it grows, and then you start to reap the benefits of your reward. But then if you keep thinking about, oh, I need to grow, grow that tree, I need to know exactly how it's going to grow, I, no, you're never going to get there. Do what you can today for the future that you want tomorrow. And that's how you create the life that you want. Understand this and understand that people who are successful, they don't, they're not successful because they have something that you don't have. Or well, they're not successful because they can do things that you can't do. They're only successful because they choose not to do things that you're currently doing. And the one thing you're willing not to sacrifice is the reason why you might not be able to achieve the success that you want. Listen, you must sacrifice what you have today for the version of you that's going to come. And that's how you create the future that you want. Learn to be different, man. And for anyone that hasn't joined my free school community yet, all I'm going to say is literally like every day I go on there and I drop... Um, gems, be it fitness wise, motivation wise, and like maybe thoughts that are going on through my mind. But if you're trying to get in shape and stuff, I'm giving you guys everything you need for absolute, absolutely free. So you might want to lock in because I have a lot of gems like dropping every single day. And yeah, those things literally will change the game for you. Like I said this before, I was able to put on over a hundred pounds of lean mass over the last four-ish years since lockdown and trust me it's been a crazy rise and crazy journey and everything i've done in the past i keep trying to feed that to you guys so you guys can lock in so lock in on the free school community boys 
and I'll catch you guys soon. Also, make sure you subscribe because the goal for this channel is to grow to a million plus followers and inspire millions and millions of lives to, to just improve their lives in some way, no matter how big or small that is. But that being said, I love you all for watching the video to this point and stay tuned.